Military law encompasses any violation of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, which is a specific criminal statute, a code of different rules that the military uh, needs to abide by. It could also include a violation of a regulation within the military's law, as long as that regulation or that particular subsection was noticed as being one that's what we call punitive, meaning capable of a punishment. And so provided that regulation has put you on notice that if you violated it, it can also carry a criminal consequence. Every military service person is entitled to a detailed or an assigned military defense counsel for them. And so that person would be made available to help them understand the process of what to expect, uh, how a military trial may differ from a civilian trial that they may have seen online or even through media and that sort of thing to give them an idea. A military crime is any violation of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, which carries with it uh, military-specific offenses and also military-specific maximum punishments. Unlike in most civilian jurisdictions where there's a mandatory minimum, for most violations of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, there is no mandatory minimum, with the small exception of premeditated murder. Even though every person in the military is entitled to free appointed counsel from within the military's ranks, they also have the right to be represented by civilian counsel that they have to go out and hire on their own. For some, it ends up being a great team effort between that military counsel and the civilian counsel and can help them to assist uh, as a trial team.